I'm on my way to the west of the island, where a few small patches of that ancient forest still remain. These strange, beautiful trees, baobabs, are far resistant and too big to cut down. So in many places, they are the only remnants left of the original forest that once covered this land. It would have been difficult for a creature the size of an elephant bird to live without vegetation of some kind, and today, even the smallest of animals are struggling to survive here. One of those that have managed to do so is the tiniest of all known lemurs. It's called Madame Bert's mouse lemur, and it was only discovered 10 years ago. Melanie Damhan is part of a team of scientists who are studying the animal, trying to work out how to protect it. Oh, tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny. Just only 30 gram body weight. Yeah. Smallest primate Smallest in the world? Smallest primate in the world. Big eyes, small That's ears. Very big eyes. Yeah. And a wet nose. Yeah. yeah. Melanie and her colleagues catch these lemurs and tag them to build up a picture of their behavior, essential knowledge if they're to be properly protected. And how, how long will he have been in there now? A few hours. That all? So we collect him at night and yeah. then he stays in camp and sleeps in there and then release him in the next And day. you've caught him how many times? Maybe around 20. So he's in accustomed three years, to it? He's accustomed to it. And, and do they years. travel very far? They travel very far. They have like really? three hectare home range. So that's quite a bit for an animal like that. Certainly is. Yeah. yeah. They might even run like five kilometers a night. Really? Yeah, an animal like that. I think that's amazing. Amazing, yeah. Okay, let's see him go. It's coming. Come on. Come on, little one. That's it, that's it. Sure. The work Melanie and her team are doing is vital for the survival of this little lemur. It's also revealing just why it is that this tiny creature lives here and nowhere else. This particular liana belongs to a species that only grows in this patch of forest. And on it, and on no other kind of liana, lives this little insect. It's a bug, which feeds by sticking its mouth parts into the liana and sucking out the sap. It then digests what it wants and excretes the rest as honeydew, a sort of sugary liquid. And it's that honeydew, that sugar, that Madame Bert's lima needs in its diet. So Madame Bert's lima is only found in this particular fat of the forest because of this insect and this liana, which just shows how complicated ecological connections can be and how much you have to know about an animal if you're really going to conserve it. Mm -hmm.